Hi everybody, I'm Marge, and I just got my new Dia box. Um, I actually haven't gotten one in a while, which seems so silly to me because I work here, <laughs> and um, I actually see the clothes a whole lot, and I like play and touch and feel all of them, and so kind of like playing with them, I'm like, oh, I don't need them. I'm going to give them to somebody else, make sure that somebody else has them, um, and my style is pretty um, casual, so like on most days, I wear jeans, or the summer, like shorts and a t-shirt, um, sandals or sneakers, and I'm kind of out the door. Um, I think for years, I dressed up and had to dress up for work, and now that I work in a casual environment, I just prefer to be comfortable and, and casual. Um, and if I do dress up, it's like a casual maxi dress or a, a, um, a knit kind of shift dress that I can wear with sneakers or wear with sandals, toss on a denim jacket or a bomber, um, and just be really comfy. Um, and that look can kind of take me anywhere I need to go. Um, so I'm really excited for this box. Um, I am super excited because I made sure, I styled it myself, but I made sure to put things in there that were a little outside of my comfort zone. And by a little, I mean a lot outside of my comfort zone. But pieces that I've seen um, actually our customers wear that I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And I love the way that looks on her. I want to try it. And for me, Dia is, is all about that, is getting outside of your comfort zone, trying new things, um, but in kind of the comfort of wherever you are. Uh, I'm actually here at the office where I got my box delivered, so I don't have my whole closet with me to play with, but um, luckily I'm wearing kind of a denim jean jogger. Um, I've got a gray t-shirt on underneath, kind of classic basics um, that I can pair hopefully with, with enough in this box, um, or I have pieces at home that I can play with when I get there. Um, so I will make sure to try everything on and to take photos and to share as much as I can. Um, but I wanted you guys to join the ride as I unbox my Dia box. I haven't even opened it. I like cut a slit so it'd be easy for me to open. Um, since I got my last Dia box, we have uh, gotten new boxes that are super fancy with our new logo, some beautiful packaging. Um, when I first started at Dia, all of our boxes were hand stamped with our logo. Um, so it's kind of cool to work, you know, here now where things are um, definitely a bit more colorful um, and, and kind of where things are, are branded officially. Um, so it looks like my box looks like this on the inside. I love this sticker. I don't have this one yet. I collect all of our stickers on my computer. So it looks like I need to try to find uh, the keeper of the stickers so I can get this one. And we have this beautiful note. I love these styling notes. Again, when I started at Dia, and we would handwrite all of the styling notes. So uh, this is really cool. It looks beautiful. I've got my return bag. I'm hoping I won't need to use this. Um, but let's, let's jump in. Um, I always love to read the note. It's my favorite part of the service is, is getting that really personalized note from our stylist. Um, I will be super honest with you. I knew that I was styling this box and I knew that I was writing it to myself. Um, and I have a bit of a tradition, um, that hopefully you'll catch on as I read my note. Um, we've got our great invoice here that looks beautiful. Um, the total of my box... If I buy the whole thing, it's $158.50, so that's not bad for five pieces. Um, if I were to go out and try to find five pieces in one shot, that's not going to happen, even in New York City. Um, but it's, uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, okay, so I will read my note. Hello, I love you. Please don't tell me your name. Hello, I love you. I'm here to dress your cool frame. Hello, I love you. Please, girl, I know your name. Hello, I love you. Let me add style to your game. Marge is walking down Varick Street, dropping good karma to everyone she meets. You think she even has to try to make the people at Dia laugh and cry? Hello, I love you. Please don't tell me your name. Hello, I love you. I'm here to dress your cool frame. Hello, I love you. Please, girl, I know your name. Hello, I love you. Let me add style to your game. I, uh rocked a cover of uh, the Doors song, Hello. I mean, my last note, I referenced um, uh, Lionel Richie's Hello, and previously I've done Adele's Hello. Um, it's kind of funny, I write them, and then I kind of forget what I write, so that when I get the note, I'm like, oh, I'm pretty funny, that's great. Um, again, we have this beautiful little envelope, fancy. 
So, now to the fun part. Ooh, I see a lot of prints. Um, I did say that I, I packaged this, my, uh, or I styled this myself, um, trying to get outside of my comfort zone a bit. Um, and with that, um, I wanted to share and, and pick some things that were kind of completely outside my comfort zone. I don't wear a lot of prints. Um, I'm kind of afraid of prints, if I can be totally honest. Uh, my years working for Eileen Fisher, I wore kind of solid colors and, and kind of cool, dark, um, dark colors, and um, I just kind of got used to it. Even today, I wear black, white, gray, blue, olive, burgundy. Um, if I wear a pattern or a print, it's usually like a graphic tee, which doesn't really count. Um, or like some version of a faded chambray or something, so it's not a whole lot of pattern. But this box will get me out of, out of that. So let's jump in. I'm really excited. I'm also, I've been, uh, I got this this morning and I'm really nervous. Is that weird? Um, I think it's weird. <laughs> um, okay. It's packed lovely. Um, our distribution center is amazing and I love all the hard work they do to make things beautiful right when you open up the box. We're all about that experience from the beginning to the end. Um, I'm seeing pieces in here that I don't remember putting in my box. Um, so I'm not really sure what that is. I probably could tell you um, once I, I open it up, but okay. So first off, ooh, one thing I wanted to try um, was kimonos. Um, I have one from last year and unfortunately had a hole in it because I wore it a thousand times. Um, so I uh, had to get rid of it and it's kind of taken me a long time to accept that it's summer. So I wanted to make sure that in this box that I had plenty of really lightweight cover-ups. I'm also going on vacation in three weeks and um, it's at the beach and I love that kind of like kimono style that I can toss over a bathing suit um, or wear, you know, over maxi dress if I'm going out for dinner, um, that kind of like play to night out super easily. So I got this beautiful kimono that I think would be beautiful with just a white tee. Um, it's by Mary Sky, which I'm super excited about. Our team here at Dia is also very excited about Mary Sky. Um, it's kind of that classic like box box top in the world of Eileen Fisher. Um, it's like super simple. It's flowy. Um, I will definitely upload a photo of me trying it on. Um, and it looks like it'll fit really easily. It'll be super flowy. It's got some great detail. Um, and it just looks comfy. So I'm, I'm really excited to try that on. This top, I was kind of scared about this top if I'm being totally honest. Um, I love the trend of the off the shoulder. Um, it's one that I don't wear often because I hate with a passion straps bras, but I bit the bullet, I bought a new one. I think it's gonna be great. I've heard great reviews and um, worst case scenario, I have plenty of other bras. If you see my strap and you're offended, I'm so sorry, but like, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Um, so I picked this top because it's kind of like this super flowy, um, it screams like vacation to me. And I have these really awesome white um, denim shorts um, that I really, really love. And I thought that this would look really pretty with that. Um, it's kind of off the shoulder, but it comes um, high enough that I think it should be okay. It's got these really flowy sleeves that I'm really excited about. Um, and it's nice and lightweight. You know, if you like a bit of coverage for the summer, um, but also don't wanna be so freaking hot. I'm wearing a sweatshirt now because our office is really cold, but outside I know it's hot and I don't want to be sweating on the subway or sweating at the beach. Um, tops like this that are this really nice, like lightweight fabric. Um, let me take a look at what the, what the pattern is. Uh, this is a rayon. So that's a really, really nice, lightweight, flowy, um, it kind of screams like ocean breeze, which I'm totally about. Grab a cocktail, I'll be happy. Can't wait to try that on. Um, another kimono from Mary Sky. I did know that I was getting two. Um, I wanted to. This one, um, when this came in, the sample came in months and months ago. Um, I had my eye set on it. We had this wonderful meeting, and I was like, that. <laughs> I need that. And. Um, it's totally outside of the realm of things that I think I would ever wear. Um, but there's something that spoke to me about it that just had this like feminine elegance um, that I thought would be awesome. So 
uh, it is this lovely, like, kind of dusty lilac. Um, but it's just really nice and flowy. It's a bit longer than the first one. Um, I thought this too would look really pretty with, um, with a pair of white denim jeans and a t-shirt, a blank, a black tank or a black tee. I thought that would be really, really pretty. Um, oh, I'm super jazzed about this. So, um, if you are like me, you love the idea of a skirt. Um, but are kind of stressed about how to wear it. Um, and I think I think that's kind of the majority of us. So um, the fear that I have with skirts is what do I wear on top? You know, a dress is one piece, super simple. Um, but a skirt, what I've learned is you kind of have to take all the rules that you have and throw them out the window. Um, I'm more comfortable on most days in a pencil skirt with something loose and flowy on top. Um, I'm smaller on the bottom than I am on top, so usually adding that kind of like exaggerated proportion to the top of me while really um, highlighting my, my slimmer bottom um, really kind of does well for me. Um, but I wanted to step out of that. I wanted to try something new. I love the way a-line skirts look. Um, I loved this skirt because it seemed like kind of a classic basic. I'll show it to you guys. Um, it's just a great chambray by Molly and Isadora. Um, it has these great buttons um, that don't open, thank goodness, um, up the front. It has a tie in the front. Um, it also has pockets. Amazing, I love pockets. Um, and so my thought with this was that um, I'm learning to embrace the, the tucking shirts in. Um, I played around with like the half tuck in a, in a flannel shirt with a pair of jeans. I played with tucking in the front of a tee and kind of leaving it slouchy. Um, and it's not as scary as I remember it being all the years ago that I had to tuck in a shirt for a myriad of different reasons. Um, and it's not as scary as I thought it would be. When you get the right shirt and you get the right pants, it's not that crazy. Um, but my thought was that I could wear this skirt um, with a cute graphic tee tucked in in a denim jacket, or I just got this really awesome Rebel X, um, Rebel Wilson X Angels pink bomber jacket that I thought would look really cute with a white t-shirt or tank tucked into this. Um, I thought it could be kind of cute. Also, I thought it would be really pretty um, with the kimono, a white t-shirt tucked in, and then wear the kimono and a pair of black sandals um, for a, a piece that can kind of go from day to night um, wear it casually. Um, it's also a cool length. It's like, I'm going to stand up. So it's, it's, you know, depending, I would probably wear it up here. Um, my waist is up really, really high just underneath my bust. Um, it's not way low where I wish it would live, um, but that's okay. So I play with proportions. I kind of would wear this all the way up um, to the top of my waist. Um, tuck in a cute t-shirt with a fun saying on it, I have a million, um, and then rock it with either some cute sandals, um, a pair of flip-flops, cute sneakers, um, and then this is a piece too. Um, I'm all about practicality, being able to have pieces that um, not only work for one season, but are pieces that I can carry into fall and winter. And this, with a pair of tights and my favorite like gray suede booties, like is a piece I could wear a thousand times, toss on a leather jacket, and I've got my like fall classic staple here. Um, I'm super excited. Um, again, that was Molly and Isadora, um, another piece that came into our office that we all are like, oh my gosh, yes. Um, so the last piece um, is another print. I said I was stepping out and here we go. Um, so this is a dress, and I actually just saw it on one of our stylists, Lou's, today, and she looked lovely in it. Um, I was sent a photo, and she's gorgeous. Um, this is by East Adelaide, uh, Adeline, um, and again, pockets, and it's kind of this dropped waist, slouchy wrap front um, dress. It has a stitch here if you're, um, you know, if you don't want to show the girls, I think that's important, you know, that there's um, that option. Um, you know, I'm pretty well endowed, but I also like to show the girls a little bit. Um, so I think this could be really, really sexy. Also, it is stitched pretty well, so you don't have to worry about, you know, pinning it or, or making it look sloppy um, if you want to keep coverage. Um, it also has this really great kind of like semi-kimono cap sleeve. Um, Cap sleeves are hit or miss for me, so I'm excited to see where this falls. I'm excited that it kind of covers over uh, my little chicken legs. 
um, but also be really cute and, and um, breezy for vacation. This, um, I think, is going to be a piece that I'll want to wear out for dinner. Um, we always go out for dinner the last night of vacation, so I want to um, try this on. I hope it fits. I can always toss a denim jacket on top of it um, if it's chilly at night or kind of a lightweight cardigan in probably this like oatmeal color um, just to, to add a different kind of color layer to it. Um, so yeah, I am pretty pleased. I uh, have been sitting on this box all day. I knew that it was here um, and it kind of felt like Christmas. I was a little nervous to open up the box. Um, I've seen all these pieces in racks and on other people. Um, you get kind of nervous when it, when it comes to you and especially, um, I think we all, have, have different feelings about how clothes fit and, and what clothes we put on our body and it's um, gonna be a lifelong journey for me and um, I'm, I'm excited that Dia has the options and, and allows me to kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and, and try new things. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna see if I can try some of these things on um, here and we'll see how it goes. Okay, bye. So I just wanted to say that I loved my Dia box, uh, my stylist, me. Uh, did a great job, um, definitely pushing me outside of my comfort zone, but I really love the pieces that I got. I tried them all on. I'll share them with all of you. I'm wearing one of the dresses now, and I'm obsessed, plus it has pockets. Um, and I'm really happy. I'm excited to show you guys these pieces. Um, I'll make sure to use the hashtag MyDiaStyle so you can follow along um, and comment which pieces are your favorite, and maybe your stylist can send them your way too. Thanks for watching. Bye.